Hey guys, it's Matt at Half-Life Reviews. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Pelican Micro Sport Wallet. I picked this up for my trip to Cancun, Mexico. Uh, I wanted to be able to go swimming with something where my money and you know passport information wouldn't get wet as I did a photocopy of my passport and driver's license. Uh, you tend to swim a lot while you're in Cancun and I just thought it would be something good to carry and it turned out to be just that. So people on Amazon were giving this mixed reviews. They said there wasn't enough room to where you could put money on either side without folding it and then once you had your money or whatnot in it, it would have a hard time closing uh, without breaking the seal, making it not waterproof. Um, you do have to fold your money uh, into quarters before you put it in uh, either side, but I had no problem with that. So I don't know if these people that are leaving reviews um, were carrying hundreds if not thousands of dollars and trying to stick it in this when they were going swimming. That doesn't make sense to me personally. Um, I found that I could get you know a good day's worth of money in here, my debit card, again, a photocopy of my passport and my ID. Uh, it was able to fit in this just fine. I had zero issues whatsoever. Um, I didn't have any issues with it leaking. I did a lot of swimming, whether it be in the ocean or pools. Um, I also took this with me everywhere I went. We went and did quite a few excursions. Um, we did an explore at night excursion, which is a bunch of zip lines, uh, a bunch of water type activities, and this thing did amazing in my opinion. Um, I had I've just I haven't had any problems with it. The only problem that I did have with this to where I could go, oh, it's not waterproof, is I was in a hurry while we were on uh, an island called Isla Mujer, Mujeres, uh, Isla Mujeres, something like that. Uh, but anyways, um, I was in a hurry and I put my receipt in here of something I purchased and I closed it and the tail end of the receipt was sticking out the side. So what happened is, of course I went swimming, but once the tail end of that receipt got wet, it wicked it into the inside of this Pelican Sport Wallet. Um, so it did get damp inside, it wasn't fully engulfed in water. Um, that wasn't the issue, but it did get damp inside and I noticed that. So if you do purchase this, you definitely want to make sure that you don't have any type of paper currency or uh, receipts or anything like that that are jetting out of the side when you close it. Uh, otherwise you might run into that as well. So what you see is what you get uh, when you order this. You're going to get this strap here. Uh, this was quite nice because my board shorts also have a strap and a zippered pocket um, so you can do the loop around trick and pull it tight and it will hold on to you know the strap in your shorts if you have them uh, so that's great uh, the only way this is coming off if you know it's hanging out of your board shorts and something snatches it and just breaks this line here um, so you can open it up you've got these kind of elastic mesh deals where you can slide your money in um, holds it pretty well. I mean, it's not super firmly attached to the point where, you know, it's going to pinch your money and keep it from shifting around or anything like that. But it definitely does hold stuff in place. Um, you also have this little gasket here, uh, if I can get it out. And I, I don't quite understand why it's removable. Um, this is what definitely seals you know, the top portion from the bottom portion and uh, creates the waterproofing for this sport wallet. Um, but I don't get why it's removable. Maybe if it wears out over time, you can contact Pelican and they can replace it. Although I, I don't know if they can, you'd have to call them to find out. Um, but overall, that's, that's what you're getting for your money. Um, you know, it, it's it's nice. It's a nice case. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel flimsy. It feels like a regular Pelican case, um, just in kind of a sport wallet form. So 
you know, I've, I've had no issues with it. The latch has been popped countless times and there is metal running through it. So you have a metal bar, you know, it's not plastic that's holding plastic into place. So it, it is really well built and I truly did enjoy this on my trip. So first and foremost on my channel, I really want to be honest and truthful about products. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Uh, if there's something wrong with it, I'm definitely going to let people know. Um, so in this case, I didn't take video of me while I was uh, on vacation in Mexico. So in this case, all I can do to simulate water and submersion is um, use this Tupperware full of water. Um, got my Pelican case here and I've just got an everyday regular tissue paper. Um, so I'm going to just fold this up quickly or try to do it fairly quickly here. And I'm going to pop this open and just go ahead and like bunch it up kind of slide it in um, and that's how you'll typically see your money I might toss up some pictures to show you what it looked like while I was in Mexico um, and how I had my money in there or whatnot um, so tissue papers in here I'm going to close this up and dunk it um, and it is buoyant so when I was swimming I, I really honestly didn't notice it um, it does float to the top so it might be good if you're worried about dropping it off a boat or um, just losing it in the water it's definitely floating to the top no matter what you put into it um, so you know pops right back up um, so for sake of the length of this video uh, you're gonna have to take my word I could leave this in here all night if I wanted to and I would assume water wouldn't get in there I wasn't in water 24 hours a day but I was in water up to three hours a day in one sitting just hanging out in the ocean snorkeling doing whatever um, I don't know <clears throat> if you can dive with this if you're a scuba diver um, I don't know to what depth you can swim down to before um, the pressure on it is just too great and water is gonna get in there no matter what um, you might have to figure that out. I would guess at 30 feet you should probably be okay. Um, anything more than that as far as atmospheric pressure goes, um, you're kind of on your own. Trial by air maybe, something like that. Um, so anyways, that's submerged here. Um, let me grab this right here and I'm just going to wipe this off so no external water drops on that tissue paper inside um, so I'm trying to show you that it's waterproof so I'm just gonna open it up here bing bing bong slide this tissue paper out and like I was saying not a drip of water on it nothing not a zero um, Inside, dry as a bone, all good. Um, so there you have it. So at the time of my purchase for this sport wallet, I spent $23.58. Um, I did notice that on other sites outside of Amazon, they were a lot more expensive, more around the $30 range. And the cheapest I think I saw this was $20, but that didn't include shipping, so I just got it on Amazon. Um, $23 is pretty steep for what you get here. I understand that it's a Pelican branded product. It's a, it is a Pelican product. Um, but $23 seems a little steep. I feel like, you know, $20 range, maybe $18, uh, I would have been more happy with, but... For everything I put this through on my almost two weeks in Cancun, I really can't complain. I can't complain one bit. This thing really just held up. Uh, it did exactly what I was hoping for it to do. And, um, you know, I would totally recommend anyone that wants to go swimming or such with this uh, to totally buy it. 
Um, even if you just want like a rugged wallet, you ride dirt bikes or, you know, you parachute or something. I don't know. If you have like one of those lifestyles where you're active and, you know, you're afraid your fabric wallet isn't going to hold up to the extremes that you put it through, um, I definitely would suggest this. This thing will take bumps and bruises and everything else. Um, so I do, I highly recommend it. It's just the price point is a little high for me. But if you can get past that, uh, it's, it's a great sport wallet. So the only other gripe I have with this is that it is a hard plastic case. Um, if you know, you try to bend it here, it's not bending. Um, it's a Pelican case, you know, it's not meant to. Um, so carrying this around every day for everyday use, I, I just don't see that as being too feasible. Um, it's too hard, you know, I mean, if someone really doesn't care, I'm sure you could get away with it, but you know, you, you have no give in this, you know, there's no bending of this as opposed to, you know, your everyday wallet with your cards in it. Um, you know, it's night and day. So I wouldn't recommend this for an everyday carry, but if you're going on a trip, if you're doing something, you know, that's rugged and you need that protection for your cards or you're worried about water getting into your stuff and ruining it, um, this is a great case to use. And I, I do highly recommend this. I had no problems with it whatsoever. And it was fantastic to have on my vacation, uh, period. It, it's, it's a good sport wallet. It's good. So that's my review for the Pelican Sport Wallet. Again, I, I really do highly recommend it. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. I, you know, hope that you guys like the videos that I'm doing. I hope to do it more frequently now. Um, some stuff had come up and got in the way, just, you know, everyday life. Um, also, if you want the exact model number on this, it's going to be Pelican 0955 hyphen zero one zero hyphen one one zero um that's a lot to say but anyways if you look for it you'll definitely get this exact one um and goodbye overall have a good one